dun 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 I'm hoping that like my little singing I can like play that in the video without getting copyrighted or sued by Nintendo. <laughs> I ran, scooted so fast, like skirt, all the way to 7-Eleven. I made two different stops to get everything from the Mario Brothers collaboration. This year marks the 35th anniversary of Mario Brothers. So they've collaborated with Nintendo to bring us all these wonderful snacks and sweets. And you know your girl had to go get it ASAP. Now, the timeliness of this is very important because if you live in Japan, these are limited edition snacks and sweets. So they will only be available until February 24th. At 7-Eleven during the Super Mario Brothers collaboration, there is also a special raffle which will be held for customers to win some limited edition Mario merch, which actually at the very bottom of my receipt, there was like a way to enter the raffle. And these items hit 7-Eleven February 5th until February 24th. So without further ado, let's try all the food, shall we? The first one I'm trying is a fire flower fiery curry steamed bun. It's a nikuman bun stuffed with red curry. If you're not familiar with what a steamed bun is, it's essentially bread that is steamed cooked and it's really warm. But now mine's a little cold, uh, but yeah, it's super cute. Like I don't even really want to eat it. Ooh, oh, that smells so good. My mouth is salivating. See how spicy it really is. Mm, 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 mm. This is amazing. It definitely has like that tomato-y-ness to it. It's definitely more of like an Indian curry versus Japanese curry. So it has a lot more of that like vegetable heaviness to it. It's also supposed to be spicy. I would gi I'd give this a level zero on the spicy. It's not spicy, but it has spices in it. It's a flavor. It's not like a, like, you're, yeah. I would feed this to a child. I don't really know what else to say. It's delicious, and I would definitely get this again. The egg salad croquette. This is the one with Mario on it. We love him. I just think that this is so cool. This one was, sorry, I don't remember how much the steamed bun was, probably somewhere around two US dollars. The egg salad is 170 yen, which is probably about $1.50, $1.60 US dollars. This item was actually on the shelf. It's like egg and pasta, I think. Whoa. This looks so cool. Look how beautiful this is. So we've got like pasta down here and then we have egg and then I think it's chicken or pork. The only thing that's bothering me about this right now is that it's cold. It was on the shelf, like not in a cooler or anything like that. I can't get over how like, it looks like a piece of art. So I'm gonna try it on each end, I guess. Like, mm -hmm. That's not me. It's like potato. I'm glad I committed to the bite. Egg salad, delicious. So far, I feel a lot better about this than I did. Like it's actually really good. Okay, let's try the spaghetti part. <laughs> like cold spaghetti noodles but it doesn't taste like tomato sauce it tastes more like a sweet barbecue so it's not that it's bad it's just not what I was expecting and I don't like that it's cold what I do think that's cool about is I feel like I get to eat two different meals like I have pasta with my bread and then I have like a potato egg situation with some bread would I get it again no let's move on <laughs> 
Now we're gonna try the fried chicken and chili sauce. So this is karage. It's actually a karage sandwich and it looks like it's on some kind of French baguette. This has Bowser on it. I'm hoping it's going to be really spicy. It has this little fire Bowser face on it. Normally I'm disappointed in how spicy things are not <laughs> here unless it's spicy ramen. This one was 328 yen which is about like a little bit more than three US dollars. So I normally feel like these things are pretty affordable like inexpensive for food like three dollars for a whole sandwich. Ooh, I feel like I need to heat this up. It just smells like a bunch of spices and there's some kind of sauce on it. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty freaking spicy. This is the type of bread that it is on as well. It looks like it has two different sauces on it. One that kind of has like a mayonnaise -y sauce and then one that's like a red chili sauce. I did have to go to two 7-Elevens to find this because this was one of the only items that was like sold out. Let's try it. I'm gonna go for the small piece, not because I'm scared, but because I feel like I can actually get a full bite. I'm also gonna rip off the end of the bread because I'm, I wanna commit to the chicken. Listen, Karage-san, please do not disappoint me. Just now starting to get spicy, but oh, okay. The spice is starting to come now. It's not as spicy as I thought it would be. I honestly, I hope, I hope you make me regret saying that. It's spicier than a lot of food that I get that says it's gonna be spicy. I don't feel hot or anything. Um, if you're sensitive to spicy food, I would not get this. I would eat it hot. Otherwise, this is probably my favorite one. It was just at first it like didn't have any flavor. Then it slowly started creeping up. It kind of just tastes like chili powder. Like I'm eating something with chili powder, but I'm not that mad about it. Now we're trying the whipped cream and custard Yoshi melon bread. This one was 140 yen, which is about a dollar and 25 cents itch ish in USD. Nice and soft. And then it has like a little slit in it. I guess where they, oh, I kind of cheated. Wow, it tastes like melon. They have a like melon cream soda here that's actually really, really good. So if you ever get the chance to try it, you should. Inside is white. So I don't know how they did the outside green. Let's try it. Hold up, this is really good. I do not normally like melon flavored things or green melon to be quite honest, but this is really, really good. Highly recommend. It's super creamy. It's kind of dry. Yeah, the edges are a little dry. I would get this again for sure. Let's try the princess peach dessert. This is a strawberry jelly and cheese mousse. Gelatin on the bottom and I'm going to guess that the cheese mousse is like cheesecake. This was 300 yen, which will be a little bit less than three US doll hairs. Look how cute the top is. It's like her hair with her little hair pieces. So it looks like she's like inside. It's kind of freaky, but it's cute. I have a little aftertaste of the melon palm. And it's really good. Okay, let's try to get a little bit of everything. I already know I'm gonna like this. Oh, oh come on, you can get a better. Mmm. Mmm. How do they do that? How do they do that? This is so freaking good. If you're watching this and you are in Japan, please run to the store 
and get Princess Peach. The strawberry jelly at the bottom is divine. Uh, strawberries are also in season right now and you can tell that it's like fresh. It's like a, it's kind of like jelly. Yeah, it's like a gelatin. I mean, that's what it says it is. And then the whipped cream is just so fluffy and it melts as soon as it touches your tongue. It's just amazing. Mm. I've said this so many times in my videos before. I just, I don't know how they get the whipped cream to be so good here. It's like a whipped cream in a cloud and cheesecake. How a baby. The last item we're going to try is the Superstar Pineapple Milk Jelly. So what this is telling me is that this is just like a vanilla or a like almond milk jelly is typically what it is. Or not jelly, but like a gelatin. And then the top is going to be like a really soft pineapple flavored sauce. And I've never had anything that was pineapple flavored from 7-Eleven. So I'm very interested to see like how they're going to develop that flavor profile. I guess it's gonna be sweet or tangy. This one was 210 yen, which is about two US dollars. This one does not have clever packaging and normally 7-Eleven is really good about, oh no, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> it's me. Are his eyes on there? How'd they do that? I don't know why this is like annoying. <laughs> There's obviously the face on it, but it's like a clear plastic. I assume you can see that. So it's a plastic overlay. And Japan already uses a lot of plastic. So I wish what they had done was just put the eyes on the lid. That would have just made so much more sense than like putting another piece of plastic on here. A chunky jelly. The pineapple sauce, but we're gonna try a big bite together. I don't like the noises this makes. It's like okay. All right. If you're a texture person, do not get this. Don't get it. The texture's a little much. I don't really know how I feel about it. You hear the noises I'm making trying to eat this? The milk jelly is good. It doesn't really have flavor, um, but the texture like more than compensates for that. You can like swish it in your mouth and the whole gelatin like just instantly breaks apart. I've never had jelly like this until I moved to Japan. So it's kind of a really hard texture to explain. And then the pineapple sauce, let me just taste it by itself. Because together, there, it doesn't taste like much. I think on a really hot summer day, this would actually be really refreshing and really good. However, there's like no pineapple flavor. It's kind of chunky and runny, but there's just no pineapple flavor. It needed more. Like I needed, I needed more from you. Let's kind of recap all of the snacks we just tried. If I were to pick one of these treats to have over and over again, it would definitely be the Princess Peach dessert. It was really, really good. So if you're gonna try anything and you do like sweets, please try that. I think my second runner up is definitely going to be Bowser's spicy karage sandwich. However, I would probably heat it up and try it hot. I can imagine that it would be really, really good, like actually hot and crispy. Otherwise, some of the snacks were just a little mediocre. I do think it's really fun and exciting that 7-Eleven is supporting Nintendo and they collaborated on all of these snacks. If you are really adventurous, definitely try all of them. I mean, that's just how I live my life. I, I'm, I never regret trying a snack. If you've made it this far in the video, first of all, God bless you. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, tag me in your Instagram stories, and make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss another Kombini haul again. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Do, 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 do,